Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a really quick run through of a basic vlogging setup so that you can shoot yourself without any sort of assistance and people around you. So when you start vlogging, if you just want to concentrate and have no other distractions, this is a really simple setup that you can do by yourself. So when I'm shooting, I just want to make sure the tripod's actually a similar height to me if I'm going to be standing up. I like sort of talking with my hands and chatting like this, so I find if I'm vlogging that works better for me, but if you prefer sitting down, you'll want the tripod lower. So this is the space that we're shooting in for this particular vlog and I want to make sure there's enough light in here. So we're going to bounce the light off the back wall and make sure it's um, nice and balanced just in case the light outside is varying with um, clouds and stuff like that. So what I'm going to use is a lighting stand and you can pick these up again for, for not much money. If you're pointing the light directly at yourself, you'll tend to look really shiny because the light's too strong. So you want to diffuse the light or bounce it off a back wall if you have that in the space that you're shooting in. So that's just something to think about when you're actually setting up. When you're connecting an LED light to a stand, they have a screw mount and you can screw it straight onto the stand, but that doesn't allow you to change the angle of it at all. So what we need to use is an adapter. This kind of adapter allows you to position the light in different ways depending on how high you want it and the angle you want it. So these are really handy. So what you want to do is attach the adapter into the light itself. Just screw that on like that. And then you've got to chuck it on the light stand. But you've got to be really delicate because you don't want it to fall off while you're screwing it on. So once you've attached your LED light to the stand using the adapter, you're able to change the angle depending on where you want the light to go. Now this um, light has a tungsten and daylight balanced LEDs inside it. So you've got two sets of LEDs. So when we turn it on, that's the blue lighting and we can go up to 99 and that's basically how bright it is. Now if I pull this a little bit more further away from the, um, the wall, I'll be able to get a much more even spread of lighting and using the little barn doors, I can control where that light's going to go. So that's an example of using just a single light, bouncing it off a wall that's going to give you a really even um, skin tone when you're, when you're shooting and you don't want to be too shiny as well. Now we've got everything else set up, I can look at what cameras I'm going to use. Um, when you're doing uh, vlogging, you really want to be able to see yourself and that can be difficult with a digital SLR, but you just got to choose one that has a flip out screen so you can see yourself at the same time. So we're going to try and see what it looks like using a DSLR. Um, the DSLR, because it has a bigger lens, gives you a really great quality image and really good depth of field because the, um, the sensor is, is physically larger. Um, when you use a smaller compact camera, um, you can get a similar result but you don't get as much depth of field so you don't get as uh, much of a filmic sort of look. Um, this is a Sony Alpha NEX camera and it has a flip up screen so it allows you to see yourself. So this is a really great example too. Now if you happen to have a phone and you want to do vlogging on your phone, the iPhone 6S is great because it offers like 4K um, video shooting and really good 1080p shooting. Only problem is you can't see yourself when you're shooting on it because the front facing camera isn't as high quality as the back facing camera. But I think a lot of people really enjoy vlogging on cameras like this because you can see yourself, you can tweak a few settings and get a result that you're really happy with. So the next step is to connect your camera to the tripod. Now depending on the different um, camera you're going to use, you'll need a different connector if it's going to be a GoPro, DSLR or whatever camera you happen to have. Um, for a standard camera that has a screw thread in the bottom, I use this Manfrotto base plate. You can buy more of these if you happen to have multiple cameras or you just wanted to be able to connect things quickly and go from different, um, different tripods. Um, so this just screws directly into the, um, the bottom of the camera. So once that's screwed on, you can connect it straight onto the tripod really easily. Just goes straight on like that. If you want to shoot with your iPhone, you're going to need an adapter that works as well. So for this, I'm going to still use the same base plate but I have a screw-on adapter. This one's made by Joby and it's really simple to use. So now once you've got the um, base plate screwed onto the adapter, you attach your phone and then you just attach the phone and the adapter straight into the tripod exactly the same way. And then you can set that up and change the angle. Only trick here is that you'll need to um, set the camera to record, sit down, have a chat, come back and have a look at the footage and see if you're on track. So this is where it can be handy to have someone help you uh, with the stage, but again, if you want to shoot by yourself in a quiet space, um, you just have to go back and forwards and check and see how it looks. So that's it. This is what the footage looks like when I'm shooting on a 600D, which is actually a pretty old camera now, but it's really affordable if you want to get one of those and start shooting with that. I can see myself on the flip out screen, and if I make sure there's enough lighting around the room, I can get a pretty good result. Don't worry about having the perfect camera or the perfect setup to get started. Just shoot with what you have and then collect more gear and things as you go forwards. You can actually get a pretty good result using just an iPhone on a tripod. But if you can get access to some more lights, borrow some stuff from friends, buy some cheap stuff off, off Amazon, um, just get it, play with it, use it and see if you can get a good result. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Good luck.